Hey y'all, y'all, I got another hotel cooking video for you. Those seem to be going really good. I'm gonna show y'all some things that I'm making in the microwave. A lot of people don't know that when microwaves first came out, you can make a complete meal in your microwave, okay? And there's some things that you can make in your microwave. I'm going to, I got a little space here, y'all, I'm working with, but I'm gonna show y'all some things I'm doing. First of all, I didn't turn the camera on when I started doing this. I'm just like, you know what? I, this might be a good idea for somebody. College kids, uh, in dorm rooms, things like that. Uh, we've got a, a uh, future daughter-in-law fixing to go to college. And um, any, I'm, I'm like, you know what? Some of these college kids may want to know some of this stuff. So this is just something quick. What I did was... I took a half a pound, since it's just me and my husband, y'all. I took, ah, that's hot. Ooh. <laughs> I took a half a pound, because we've realized, just for me and him, we can get by with a half a pound of ground, bur uh, gr ground burger, gr ground beef, hamburger meat, okay? I've learned that we can just get by on a half of, um, let me turn this off right here. Just let me turn it down. Um, just a half a pound of ground beef. So what I did was I took that half a pound of ground beef and I put it in a bowl and I mixed it all up with my egg, uh, crackers or breadcrumbs, whatever you use to make your meatloaf with. Uh, and then my spices and things, salt, pepper, a little bit of cumin. Um, Y'all, I fix meatloaf different ways. I don't hardly ever think I make it the same way twice. This one I used... Um, Obey seasoning. Uh, we just bought something the other day, Cajun Two Step. Oh, from the guy that's on uh, the Louisiana guy that's on YouTube. Um, what is his name? That's Money Dude. Whatever, whatever his name is. Okay, we bought some of his Two Step um, Cajun seasoning. So uh, what I did was, um, let me clean off the space here so y'all can see, cause whew, I got so much going on. What I did was I mixed up all my meatloaf. Usually I soup it up with onions, bell peppers. I just throw stuff in there, okay? It's just on a whim sometimes. You can put anything in meatloaf. So what I did was I made two separate patties because in this microwave, you can't put one of those metal loaf pans in a microwave, okay? Or the aluminum foil. So you gotta get creative. So I got a microwave safe dish. Let me turn this around. I got a microwave safe dish and what I did was I made two separate patties in a bowl. These are microwave safe. So what I did was on this one right here, I did it two minutes on the first side. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do two minutes on the other side. This one didn't have a lot of fat in it, which is what we don't need, okay? So I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna open up my microwave. That's hot. Set this in there. And I'm gonna do this for like two minutes, y'all. Oh, where's my two? Um, yeah, two minutes, but I may stop it shy of two minutes because the other one, his was three, his is bigger. His was three minutes on one side, two on the other. Now I've got the ketchup on top, or you can use whatever you want. And y'all, since he has to watch his sugar, We've started getting the no sugar added Heinz tomato ketchup from Walmart and Kroger, whoever has it. This seems to work better for him, okay? So I'm fixing to pop his back in there just enough to kind of um, simmer up the ketchup some. So that's got like a minute and 28 seconds left. In the meantime, I love to fry green beans. I got some, you hear it popping? I gotta be careful, it's popping me. I got some, this hotel room came equipped with some kitchen uh, appliances, y'all. Pots and pans and everything. So I didn't even have to unpack my box. Um, I didn't have to wag my big old deep fryer up here. I mean, my air fryer or my instant pot. They had everything in here. This cute little pot right here for boiling your noodles. And it's got the built-in strainer. I made a little bit of spaghetti the other night. Um, they got some more pots and pans down here. And this one, yeah, they got two more pans in here for us. Y'all look, it, the kitchenette even came with a dishwasher. Full-size refrigerator. Yeah, I'm all fixed up. So, 
I'm frying me some green beans. I put seasonings in here. Uh, I'm actually gonna take mine out because mine was smaller than his. Oh, it's hot. Okay, let me get this little, this is what a pot holder's for, y'all. Let me get this out and try to do this one-handed. All right, now I'm going to put the ketchup on top of mine, but I'm going to put his back in the microwave. It's cooled off now so I can touch it. I don't want it to splatter because I'm trying to keep the place clean. We've only got a few more days left. I'm only going to do uh, 45 seconds. Let me hit clear. Time cook 45 because I don't want to cook the meat anymore or it'll dry it out. So here's mine. Y'all, yeah, you can fix meatloaf in the microwave. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of ketchup on top of there if I don't splatter it all over me. This is just a simple little meal, y'all. We're trying to eat a little light. This is just, I'm gonna put the ketchup on there. Y'all, I know this is not all neat and all such as this. Squirt a little more, that's mine. Okay, so when his gets done, I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna put mine in there. I don't mean to keep making y'all dizzy. I got fried green beans going over here, which, oh, I like them kind of crusty like that. I love fried green beans. Let me get this off of the eye. No, I can leave it on there. I need to cut this off. There's his, it's ready. Let me get my handy dandy pot holder. Oh, I don't wanna smush my ketchup. It actually had a lid in there. I mean, a shelf in there. I could have put both of them in there at the same time. All right, now I'm going to put mine on there. Mine's cooled off now. I can put it in there. I'm going to put mine in there for like 45 seconds just to heat up the ketchup. Oh, clear. Time cook. 45. Start. All right. Yeah, see that? Look how warm and inviting. He got his own patty. Your own little mini meatloaf patty. You can do it in a bowl and you can do it in the microwave. I got fried green beans here. I love these. I gotta taste one. Oh, I hot, but it's awesome. Now I've got a, just a can. <coughs> Excuse me, that was hot. I got just a can of pinto beans here. I'm gonna stir these up. I got garlic in here and seasonings. Usually I put some onions in here too, but we're trying to, since we've only got a few days left in here before we go home, I'm trying to use up everything I got in the fridge and I'm just shelf cooking and throwing everything together. I've already got me some buttered bread here, y'all. I am all fixed up. Mine is done. All right, so I'm gonna get mine out. Boopity, boopity, boopity. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Mm, that's hot. All right, we're gonna throw that napkin away. Y'all, they're gonna think somebody's been bleeding up in here. Look, I got ketchup on their pot holder. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna plate this up. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Uh, oh, no, I gotta put my pinto beans in the microwave. So we're gonna, I hate, ooh, I got my pinto beans in there. Let's get another napkin to cover that up from splattering. I do not want to. All right, so we're gonna do two minutes on the pinto beans. Yep, and look, let's see. I'm gonna plate mine up right now. I am going to put my patty. This one looks bigger. This one may be mine. Oh, I don't know, y'all. I think this one was the smaller one. Come on. Y'all, I'm just using what I got in this hotel because I didn't bring my kitchen stuff up here. Let me get a fork. I didn't bring my kitchen stuff up here. See, they got silverware and everything. There we go. I'm gonna put my meatloaf right there. I'll plate his up in a minute. Is this cooled off? That's cooled off. I'm gonna put that in the sink with that spoon. Oh, I needed that spoon. Dig it. Mean, okay, because I've got to plate mine up. All right. Now, I wonder if I can set y'all clothes. Let me see if I can set y'all right here. Maybe that'll work. Okay, I'm going to plate mine up. I'm gonna use this spoon right here. Ooh. I gotta clean the floor, y'all. Yes, yeah, they had everything in here that we needed. I just didn't have to unpack my big old box. All right, so we've got us some fried green beans. Y'all, I fried some corn in here the other night and it turned out so good. I can actually cut that off. Cut that off now so y'all can hear. 
All right, so I'm gonna get me some out. All right, I'm gonna save this other for him and I'm gonna plate his up. He's not here yet, so I'm gonna wait on his so it can be nice and fresh for when he gets home, when he gets here. <laughs> this is our home right now, okay? I'm gonna clean my mess up, y'all. I got breadcrumbs everywhere. I'm gonna plate this up and then I'll show y'all what it looks like. I'm just using up things, y'all, to keep us from having to tote all this stuff home. And I'm just, I, that's all I'm trying to do. Oh, y'all slid on me. Y'all keep sliding. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. All right. Now, pinto beans is ready. Mm. It smells so good. What'd I do with that spoon? Here it is. Let's get us some pinto beans out. This is just a quick meal, y'all. I just threw together at the spur of the moment because I'm just using up what we got in here so we don't have to pack all this stuff up and take it home. I'm gonna use whatever juices is left in here. I'm gonna use this bread to soak it up. He can't have no bread, bless his heart. He can, but it messes him up. There's a certain kind of bread that he can eat that doesn't bother him. And I didn't buy it, I bought this. And y'all keep sliding on me, I'm sorry. I don't have my tripod. Um, I, I didn't buy, I should have, but this is what mine looks like, y'all. I'm going to turn y'all around, and then I'm going to plate his up. Look at there. That looks good, y'all. Just a microwave meal. It may not be the most nutrition, whatever, nutritional, nutri whatever. It may not be the most elaborate meal, but I got supper in the microwave in like 30 minutes and plate it up. And now I'm fixing to sit down and eat because I'm, I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry up in here, okay? I'm going to plate his up, and I'm going to put it in the microwave and save it for him. That is just something, a little microwave meal. I have fixed eggs in the microwave. I have, y'all, use your microwave, okay? Right now, we're in the heat of the summer. It is freaking hot out there, okay? And you can get hot just turning on your oven in your house. Get those crock pots out, those instant pots, your microwave. There's all kinds of YouTube videos, um, microwave meal cooking, y'all. I bought some recipe books, microwave meal cooking. I have saved videos of microwave meal cooking, okay? There's some things I just knew how to cook in the microwave, okay? So y'all get creative with your meals, and, and y'all teach these kids that's fixing to go off to college in a couple of weeks, next week, couple of weeks. My TV's on, I'm sorry. Um, these college kids that are fixing to go, y'all teach them how to cook, set them up with the air fryer, set them up with an instant pot, a one eye burner in their room, a couple of little pots and pans. Teach them how to cook some things in the microwave. I gotta turn my TV down so y'all can hear. I'm sorry. There we go. Uh, teach them how to cook things in the microwave. It's college season, y'all. Start teaching them some things. Um, besides them just eating ramen noodles all the time, there is nutritious meals that they can eat. They just have to know how to cook them in each appliance, okay? Get them off an air fryer cookbook um, and a little smallish air fryer. Uh, get them a, um, a little small instant pot, a little small crock pot. Y'all, they make the little bitty crock pots, one serving crock pots. Teach them how to shop for their groceries, y'all, and divide them out and make them some more meals. Some of these parents buy their college kids, some of these little um, um, dorm room refrigerator freezer combinations. Teach them how to do some meal prep and freeze some things and separate their meals out and teach and cook microwave meals, air fryer meals. Um, what else did I say? Instant pot meals, crock pot meals, okay? They've gone to class all day. They come in, they're hungry. Boom, supper's already made in the crock pot. Uh, it won't take it long in the instant pot. They're, the air fryer's pretty simple to use. Now the microwave. Teach them how to cook some things in the microwave. Y'all kids, get on YouTube. Y'all are famous for that. Get on YouTube and find out how to cook you some nice nutrition. I'm trying to get where my glasses don't glare, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm getting old and I gotta have my glasses, okay? Um, y'all, Y'all Google anything. Y'all y'all are on YouTube all the time. Y'all are on TikTok. 
start learning how to cook you some stuff. School's fixing to start. You're fixing to be in college. You're going to get busy. And, you know, mama can't come home and cook. Mama can't come to the dorm room and cook for you all the time. So, y'all do this. This is not just for hotel cooking. This is dorm room cooking, too, okay? Um, college cooking. Um, single person cooking. Um, anything. Put your smaller appliances to use, especially in the heat of the summer, so you don't have to heat up your whole house and a whole big old oven just for one little serving, y'all. Start, start, start learning. Google it, TikTok it, whatever. How it, YouTube it, however y'all talk, y'all young kid, young whooper snappers talk. So learn how to cook you some things and get still eat nutritious meals besides macaroni and cheese. Now, y'all, macaroni and cheese is good. I've seen some cute little microwave macaroni and cheese in a mug oh y'all google that my lipstick i can't stand runny lipstick i'm gonna throw this in the trash can't stand it uh y'all google microwave mug cooking y'all there's so some simple hacks that's oh it was fun i made some macaroni and cheese one day just for me for lunch and it turned out so simple and ooey and gooey with all that cheese y'all YouTube it, Google it, TikTok it, Facebook it, Instagram it, whatever. Research, okay? Y'all start eating some good nutritious meals while you're in school. Keep your brain alert, okay? So you can function, Funk. I can't talk today, function properly in school. This was just a quick little meal I cooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and just post this one. And I hope y'all enjoyed this one. It's either hotel cooking or dorm cooking, single serving cooking, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it everything. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Get you some ideas and get in your kitchen and get creative. Have a good day.